hello again right it is uh, Friday afternoon Friday the 15th of October it's about half past one in the afternoon and I'm here in Lower Clapton Road just south of the Lee Bridge roundabout by Clapton Pond so I'm gonna take a walk uh, a short walk today because I've been doing quite a lot of filming I'll explain as I go along a short walk today from Lee Bridge roundabout I'll just turn around so that we are at Lee Bridge roundabout I'll just see it in the background there Lee Bridge roundabout Stop L there, the final stop for the 38. Um, we'll buy Clapton Pond, so I'll just take a short walk down Lower Clapton Road and Mare Street and uh, the narrow way towards Hackney. Just for all those East Londoners amongst you. I know the East London routes are quite popular. Okay, so we're just walking past Clapton Pond itself. We'll see what's happening there. I've never walked actually around the pond myself. I've just been past it on buses. south towards Hackney on Lower Clapton Road, past Clapton Pond. Can we go into Clapton Pond? I've not been in here. Welcome to Clapton Pond. All right, let's have a quick look. What happens in Clapton Pond? out the sunlight. So we're here at Clapton Pond. I've just filmed um, the routes 308 and the 101. The 308 from Lee Bridge Road to Wanstead and the route 101 from Wanstead to um, Galleons Reach Shopping Park. Now I did that as a fate, as a request from Ron Fulcher. So Ron, I've filmed it for you. Um, should be out in about a week's time. Um, I think you, did you say you used to drive the route 101 when it went to Woolwich Ferry? Now it goes to a very boring shopping park in uh, Galleons Reach, wherever that is, I've no idea. But I went there. There's a load of boring shops there. 
not as interesting as going to the ferry. I'll have to do some, I think there's one or two routes which do go from Woolwich Free Ferry. I'll have to do those at some point. It's just a bit tricky for me to get there. So I did the Route 308 again. I know I did it a couple of years ago. I did the Route 308 again because it's the easiest way for me to get to Wanstead to start the Route 101. Where the 308 ends is where the 101 starts. So I took the 308 from Clapton Pond to Wanstead and then did the 101 from Wanstead to Galleons Reach. Only trouble was, still when I was doing a 308, it was raining. But I might actually steal some of the footage from the Route 308 because they cover the same route at the Wanstead end. I might steal some of the footage from the 308 and use it for that part of the... Uh, I'll steal some footage from the 101, I mean, and use that, that part of the 308 where it was raining. Because they cover the same route at the Wanstead end. Can I get out this way? I'm not sure. I'm sure I can, I'll come out this way. There's another gate here around the back. Yeah, I'll have to nick some route, some footage off the Route 101 to cover where the 308, where it was raining. I was looking at the BBC weather app and it said there's a 5% chance of rain. And it rained. That always happens with that BBC weather app. I was at Blackfriars doing the Route 4 a few months ago and the BBC weather app says there's a 1% chance of rain and it started raining. Is it just me? Anyway, I just thought I walked down uh, Hackney for the East London boys like uh, Alf Gibbs, Ron Fulcher and uh, Jeff Berkovich. Were you from East London? Jeff Berkovich, you're living in Galilee now. I don't know whether you're from East London. Not Peter Flegg, because you're a posh boy from Watford, from the home counties. You're not an East London boy. Walking along Lower Clapton Road towards um, Hackney City Centre, downtown Hackney, where it all happens. I can't tell you much about this area because I don't know it. More Sherry's neck of the woods. She's more of an East London girl. She's lived in this area. Stoke Newington, Stamford Hill. She's not with me today, she's at work. I know something about this building opposite. Oh, whoops, sorry, man. I'll just cross the road. Have a look at this hospital. This building opposite which is now flats but used to be the mother's hospital
some of you probably know this in Lower Clapton Road here uh, this set of buildings was formerly the Mother's Hospital I'm sure some of you know this I only know this because one or more of my wife's siblings were born here that's the only reason I know it So formerly the mother's hospital. Some form of maternity unit, as they would call it nowadays. I'll dehumanize it, it's a unit, maternity unit. Where units are born, not human beings because we're all numbers. So across the road, we're still walking down along, walking along Lower Clapton Road, southbound. Very tired today. I've just done seven days of 4:45 starts, so that meant catching two night buses into work. Extremely tiring, seven days, and I just got up today to do these routes. As I've got a long weekend, I want to make the most of it. Six, they're electric buses nowadays. Arriva lost that route, and now they've got nice new electric double deckers. What's this street there? I'll just walk down here. I don't know this area at all, but this looks quite pleasant. I don't know the street's name. Let's try and catch it as we walk out. Just off Lower Clapton Road. Pedestrianised street. Just looking for the name. Clapton, oh I can see it up there. Clapton Passage E5. Clapton Passage E5. I see it says Round Chapel on the sign outside. It says Round Chapel. I don't know anything more than that. It's a lovely building anyway.
should see some Route 242s come past. I just realised, um, or I just found out this week, the Route 242s, that's going to be... I uh, have a cut in the number of buses. Um, it's going to be now just a 10 minute, 10 minute frequency from next month, November. It'll be a 10 minute frequency. Vehicle. Uh, the Route 242 from Homerton Hospital to Oldgate bus station. That'll be cut to a 10 minute frequency and it'll only have 14 buses instead of 17. They're losing three buses on the route. 10 minute frequency, that's from November. That route's been messed around with. I've only been involved with the Route 242 for say the last five years. And uh, it comes out of here. Um, when I started doing it, it was from Homerton Hospital to Tottenham Court Road. Then they cut it back to um, St Paul's. And then when the Route 67 was cut back from Wood Green, used to, Wood Route 67 used to go Wood Green to um, Oldgate bus station that was pegged back to Dalston Junction and so they rerouted the 242 to Oldgate bus station so it's changed twice in the short time I've been doing it, it used to go uh, Homerton Hospital to Tottenham Court Road then only to St Paul's and then it's been rerouted to Oldgate bus station and now they're cutting the service to 10 minute frequency with only 14 buses PVR peak volume requirement. So it's a route that's really been messed around with. Right, although we turn right here, we're still in Lower Clapton Road. Uh, the road straight ahead is Erswick Road, which we've turned away from. A lot of bus routes come down here, of course. 253, 254, 55, 242. 56, I think. Oh no, 56 goes around the back, doesn't it? Doesn't come down here. All right, this building here. This is the old Hackney Baths building. That's the Hackney Baths building in Lower Clapton Road. You better see it across the road. I'll see if I can cross the road and get a look of it there. Row to have a better look at the Hackney Baths building. I'm sure a lot of you are very familiar with this building. Which is now blocked off by 253. That's the old Hackney Baths building, which is no longer a bathhouse. Coming into Clapton Square.
hear bagpipes from the church. I don't know whether that's a funeral. I'll have a look in a minute. It's more like a wedding than a funeral. Maybe that's the third wedding from four weddings and a funeral. Everyone's going in now. We'll leave the bagpiper behind, mainly because I can't stand the sound of bagpipes. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I hate them. Oh. And the bridesmaids and the bride. Is it the bride? Very good. Very good. Nice dress is very classy.
There you go. Okay. Back to more mundane things. Hello, mate. Hello, mate. All right. Okay, back on Lower Clapton Road. Um, just past Clapton Square. And I'll turn into uh, that part of Mare Street known as the Narrow Way, which is nowadays pedestrianised. But I expect most of you remember it. I don't, but... Um, you ex East Londoners probably remember it as um, one way, a one way street southbound. The buses used to go down here. <clears throat> I don't remember that myself though, it's all my time. So they call it the narrow way. I think it's part of Mare Street. famous church tower here. Which again I can't tell you much about. Sorry. We'll have another look at it from the, another angle. It's not an area I'm that familiar with. It's a nice Marks and Spencers here. It looks it's been refurbished. Uh, Sherry was telling me how they've refurbished it recently and it's a lot nicer than it used to be. It looks very nice from the outside. It's pretty classy now. It was always pretty good, but now it's even better. Let's have another look. Have another look at this church tower, which I'm not, can't tell you anything about. 
John at Hackney Church Gardens. The tower is called St. Augustine's Tower. St. Augustine's Tower. More than that, I cannot tell you, but there's a little plaque here, it may tell you something. Tower of Church of St. Augustine, built by the end of the 13th century, dedicated to St. John after 1660, church demolished 1797 to 1798. It was demolished, so it just kept the tower. tower. I wonder why that was. I'm sure some of you know. We've got the area they call the Ward Garden, which is uh, a cemetery, basically. Let's see. <clears throat> the gravestones piled up against the wall in the background. In the background there is Clapton Garage, CT Garage. Another two five threes terminate. There's a two five three coming in now. The two five threes live here now. Since they closed Stamford Stamford Hill Garage last year. So this garage is a bit more packed nowadays because as well as the 38s, they've got the two five threes here. And the two four twos, of course. Um, some of the two five threes are stored at Ash Grove Garage down the road. But the drivers all uh, sign on at Clapton Garage. So the Stamford Hill Garage SF was closed, I think, last year. So we lost a few routes. We lost the three nine threes out of here, that single decker route. We lost the 106s. Um, we lost the 230s. So we lost a few routes and lost the 67s. The 48s was um, abolished by TFL. They got rid of the Route 48. So we lost a few routes. So they closed Stanford Hill Garage.
I'm not sure what's happening to the garage itself. I hear a lot of different stories and rumours, so I won't say anything. I don't know what I don't know what's happening to that garage. There's Hackney Central Station on London Overground. On the line that runs from <clears throat> Richmond to uh, Stratford. I'll be taking this in a minute. I was reading, I'm watching one of those Jago Hazard videos, and I believe this this building ahead, which is now Oslo Bar, was a station building. In previous, in a previous life, it was part of the station. Okay, so here we are at the junction of Mayor Street and Amherst Road. I'm just going to call it a day here because I need to get home and start downloading some of these videos. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.